the junior high state tournament. Uh, this is also the start of seven weeks still Olympic trials. So it's 6.30 this morning. We're getting up, coming out and feeding the animals. Then we're heading out to Johnstown. Um, I'm gonna pick up my dad. You know, obviously my dad and I did this stuff growing up. You know, we spent most of our weekends going to tournaments. Uh, my, my parents just recently moved out here, so uh, he's gonna come with us today and watch. Yeah, the, the feeding the animals is um, a different dynamic. You know, usually you just roll out of bed and you roll um, to you know, obviously wherever you gotta go do for the day, but you know, coming out here, it's a good start for the day, get the animals taken care of, and we'll take off. The essentials for any wrestling tournament, electrolytes, water, snacks. Today we got the first form, meat sticks. Meat sticks. <laughs> so we're heading to Johnstown for the PJW. So uh, that's that's a state tournament here in Pennsylvania. You know, so you have the youth PJWs up to sixth grade, and then you have the seventh, and eighth grade junior high PJW state tournament. That's what we're going to right now. Uh, and this tournament's really hard to win because I think people are already probably regard Pennsylvania as the toughest state tournament to win in the country. But Pennsylvania in high school is divided into three categories. You have double AA, A, triple A, so that's big big school, small school, and then you have the kids that go to the prep side, right? Go to the private schools. And PJW and junior high, all of those kids are in the same bracket. So you have double A, triple A, and all the prep kids all wrestle in the same bracket. And junior high, when they get in high school, they split into ten into three divisions. So this tournament's intense, you know. Um, you take all the best clubs, you take all the best junior high programs, um, and you put them into one tournament in Pennsylvania, and, and that's how you get to the winner. And just the history and the tradition of this tournament is, um, you know, it's it's difficult. It's a difficult tournament. So. Looking forward to it right now. We, we have 14 guys in it this morning. So this morning we got uh, seven in the semis and then seven in the blood round. So this round's pretty intense. So we'll start with we'll the seven blood round guys. We'll start right off the bat. Um, and then we'll roll into the semis. And then obviously the winner go to the finals. The losers come down. And then we got a couple really intense consolation, mat, consolation rounds. And then we'll get into the medal round. So it's a fun day of the tournament. Um, this is really what kids kind of worked for all year uh you know i kind of even got chills thinking about it because you know going back to when i was their age you know this was a really important deal and understanding like for them this is uh they want to go out and they want to put on a good performance so you know today is going to be the day where they move on and, and place or win the tournament or you know we gotta figure out what we gotta do next year to have a better performance
it was like everywhere it went, it was like just good things were happening. So, um, yeah, it was it was nice. It was very refreshing uh, and exciting. Yeah, okay. it's just a lot of. I feel like the junior high state ends, and usually, rarely are we like leaving like happy. It's like we might have one champ or like three finalists in three seconds, and then whatever it may be. It was just a lot of people happy, a lot of parents and kids and stuff, which was cool. So good, yeah, good momentum um, going into this week. So it was exciting. Yeah, we're, we're gonna give like a real inside view of what it's like having kids. Yeah, that's, that's what I am. I'm sorry, go get him, get him, get him, get him, You want to complete the animals? Yeah. All right, put jacket on. Yeah. You found your cousins? Yeah. Did you win? Yeah. Did you win? Yes. Are you sure you won? I said I did. I did it. Two. You won twice. You got a takedown. Which one? <laughs> like peace sign. You got a takedown, or you won twice? I won twice. You won twice? Who'd you beat? Jameson. Really? I don't know. Maybe Ivy? Yeah. He's pretty hard to beat. He's got a nice double leg. Well, better than your double leg. I'm gonna do, can I, can I do that check? Yep. Can, Ooh, can I do that? Mm -hmm. So we just got back, um, started the day, feeding the animals, end of the day, feeding the animals. Today was the most unique state tournament that I've been to so far, you know, obviously it, since we started the club. I think they performed really well. And, and I think people that were seventh graders last year outperformed what they did last year. Seventh graders this year's eighth graders, they improved. You know, we had kids that this year going as seventh graders, first time going, you know, doing well. So it just like continues to progress. And I think that's the best thing that we can see is it's hard to predict state champions in Pennsylvania, but obviously it's good to monitor improvement and it's cool to see that. Um, and I think winning a state title in Pennsylvania is really hard. So to see that, the genuine excitement and happiness, you know, from the kids and the families today uh, was really exciting. You know, definitely a different drive home from Johnstown today than what I remember in the years past. Now, you know, refocus. You know, we get home today, you know, get home with the family. You know, we had our uh, our cousins and, and everything over today and they were wrestling each other. So, you know, wrestling is obviously a huge piece of, <clears throat> of our life and our lifestyle. But there's other things that happen, you know, feeding the animals, um, you know, life as a, as a dad, as a father, as a husband, um, are still obviously big pieces of it. And then tomorrow starts it. You know, tomorrow starts my training. I'm seven weeks out from the Olympic trials. So, um, now it's just, running in symmetry you know as these kids are preparing for the next thing as a wrestling club i'm preparing for the next thing in my career which is making this olympic team in 2024 with the pursuit of winning another olympic gold medal in, in paris so uh, overall really good day really happy uh with the kids performances you know really happy with the performance of the club and then now hopefully this week get ready and have a great weekend this next week and upcoming the high school state tournament and then uh, continue to move forward after that Thank you.